جاناتان شانزر معاون ارشد رئیس بنیاد دفاع از دموکراسی اف دی دی از واشنگتن دی سی با ماست اف دی دی از سازمان های حامی اعمال تحریم و فشار حد اکثری بر ایران است آقای شانزر این سیاست فشار حد اکثری دولت آمریکا برای تغییر رفتار حکومت ایران چقدر نتیجه داده Well, it's still, I think, somewhat early to say. Uh, we've certainly seen uh, a number of demands, uh, the 12 demands specifically listed by Secretary of State Pompeo. I'm not sure that Iran has yielded on many of those. I think the question is uh, whether the financial sanctions are beginning to bite, whether Iran is feeling it. Uh, my understanding is that they actually have had more of an impact than Iran initially had expected, perhaps even that the United States had initially expected. And of course, Uh, we're seeing some further strains uh, on the Iranian economy, uh, completely uh, unconnected uh, to uh, the sanctions themselves. And so the question is, at what point uh, will the regime begin to change because it's in their best interest? But in the fact that you have to say that it's more than the most important thing about the people who are in the world. For example, in the last few years, کسی نتونست از, کش... از بیرون ن... امکان کمک به ایران وجود نداشت فکر نمی کنید که این فشارها اگر وارد شده باشه به نقطه ای که دولت آمریکا میگه وارد نشده Look, first of all, I, I should say up front that, that what the Iranian people are dealing with, specifically with the floods, is incredibly unfortunate. And of course, everyone here in the United States uh, uh, wishes them the best and uh, will hope that, uh, that things get better very quickly for the, for the average person in Iran. Um, as for the, the challenge of ensuring that the regime is hit by sanctions and, and inoculating the Iranian people from uh, the impact, That's a very difficult thing to do. Uh, this is, of course, because the Iranian regime often passes on the hardship to its own people. Rather than absorbing the challenges themselves, you see them uh, continue in their corruption, continue uh, to uh, reap the benefits uh, and, and pass on the pain to, uh, to the average Iranian. This is the ongoing problem that we have. Uh, but at the same time, we have very little recourse other than to pursue this path because of the many malign behaviors uh, that Iran continues to engage in. خب این رای که شما دنبال میکنید و مصمم هستید که دنبال بکنید البته بیشتر دولت آمریکا که بنیاد شما هم از اون حمایت میکنه آیا خطر این وجود نداره که ملی گرایی ایرانی رو در برابر شما قرار بده؟ No, it's an interesting question, and this is something that uh, I think came up during the last round of sanctions uh, put uh, in place by the Obama administration, uh, a Democratic administration, and now we have a Republican administration doing the same. Uh, this is a bipartisan policy, I should note, uh, that has been really em embraced by three successive presidents with a short break uh, by the Obama administration. The point here, though, is uh, that uh, every time we are warned that the Iranian people are going to rally around the flag, um, that they are frustrated with the United States, I think this ignores the fact that they are truly frustrated with their own regime. This is the core challenge that the Iranian people face. I think we've seen this time and again. They understand it. It's not to say that they welcome American sanctions, but they also know Uh, that it is their regime that is largely to blame for the mismanagement of wealth and the corruption that we continue to see in Tehran. حالا صرف نظر از اینکه تغییر تقصیر کدوم طرف هست بسیاری از ارزیابی ها میگه که اگر شما بخواید روندی دموکراتیک رو در یک کشور سرعت ببخشید باید از طبقه متوسط حمایت بکنید. فشاری که بر روی طبقه متوسط میاد آیا این نگرانی رو به وجود نمیاره که در مسیر دموکراسی در ایران مانع بزرگی ایجاد بکنه و این و باعث و بانی این مانع هم آمریکا باشه Look, 
I think we'll have to wait and see exactly how these sanctions impact the uh, the Iranian people. I have not seen any studies that suggest that that's, a, that that's where the pressure is being placed. I think we'll have to find that out. Uh, but at the end of the day, again, uh, this administration has determined that sanctions are the way forward until Iran changes some of these core behaviors that Secretary of State Pompeo laid out uh, several months ago. وقتی شما میگید که باید صبر بکنیم منظورتون از چه چه دوره زمانیه این صبر ممکنه که ماها باشه یا سالها و دهه ها طول بکشه Well uh, I, look I, I don't know what the administration's plan is I think uh, that the, the secretary of state made it very clear that so long as these uh, these behaviors persist whether we talk about terrorism uh, uh, destabilizing activities across the Middle East, uh, some of the terrible things that the Iranian regime has done to its own people, that this administration, for as long as it's in, in power, is going to continue to pursue this uh, policy, which is uh, one of sanctions and pressure against the regime. So that could be two years. It could be six years. Uh, but of course, all of that can come to an end if Iran chooses to halt some of these activities. And that is really, I think, the discussion that needs to be had is that so uh, if, if, if the goal here is to end these sanctions and to relieve the pressure uh, that is being lamented by the regime, but also potentially by some of, it, uh, of, of the citizens of Iran, well, then the key is to have a conversation about why this regime continues to engage in these activities. But also, I think it's important to think about why it is that this regime has been spending so much money abroad in support of terrorist activities, whether it's eight, the estimated $800 million uh, that it spends every year on Hezbollah, or the 100 or $200 million that it spends every year on Hamas, the billions of dollars that it has spent uh, propping up the Assad regime in Syria, the untold uh, millions that it has spent uh, with the Houthis in Yemen, or some of the Shiite militias that are operating in Iraq. This is the kind of thing that I think uh, the Iranian people should be looking at more closely and questioning. We know that some of the protesters that we've seen over the last year have raised this issue. The question is, can this become more of a national dialogue? Because my sense is that the Iranian people would reject this if they ever had an opportunity to vote. جانتان شانزر معاون ارشد رئیس بنیاد دفاع از دموکراسی افتیدی از واشنگتن ممنونم از حضور شما در برنامه. Thank you.